Hi everyone, I hope everybody is feeling well and blessed. How are you feeling with September's energy? Let me know. Um, so apparently, according to my data analytics, which I talk a little bit about in the September predictions, as you see this, you might see it scheduled for subscribers. Uh, members of certain tiers might have already seen it or pending to see it or might see it at the same time as subscribers. It's there available. Um, apparently, so it's not what the videos you like to watch for me. It's overall um, YouTube can show channel content creators. I'm giving you the right back end of this aren't I? I'm giving you all the secrets if any channel content creators try to bluff you i'm giving you the truth here um they show when your audience is most on youtube and that's why i've asked in the past and recently i asked what what content do you want what do you want next because i can't rely on the data analytics i've reported it but apparently it's the same excuse right but um I discuss it in September because it's actually affecting my channel. So channels that are putting out good content, and I believe I'm putting out good content and truthful content, actually um, are just in the like double digit thousands, yeah. So like twenty eighteen k more, um, and the fact that they cannot tie up my data analytics with things it just proves it so um apparently you lot yes you lot are only watch youtube on friday night seems to be the busiest so friday around um 11 is it 11 p.m 9 p.m UK time till around 10, 10.30 UK time. Um, but I know from my poll that the US subscribers will watch at any time because, you know, they're at work. But like from what I've seen in the past of people that, you know, it's also can go on till about 2 a.m. UK time because at your end, that's like... Um, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., yeah? So it just baffles me because I wake up and I see content creators that would have been just that have just posted or posting and it's kind of like maybe 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. in the U.S., different time zones. So, and the rest, Thursday, um, very low views. Wednesday, very low views. Tuesday, there's one slot at like, um, again, 9 to 10 p.m. UK time. This is for all of you, and I don't think that's correct at all. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, nothing. So I'm not sure if it's because the content creators that there's less content or what it is, but I don't think it's correct. Anyway, so today we're going to look at Princess Catherine. So I put a poll out, and this is why it's important to vote if you're a subscriber. I also say put an emoji. You don't have to say I voted for this. Just put an emoji because then I can calculate who is a subscriber and who isn't and just a returning viewer. Members have their own votes and take obviously can vote on any area. So I'm going to discuss the last votes maybe in i'm trying to find a video with what you will all watch so that i can discuss the polls i might discuss them separately so we've had the lacy peterson and then a poll to what you want to see next okay so u.s elections the second one after rfk um just put it on your list because i hadn't rfk hadn't viewed it was scheduled uh, i was trying to get time to do it sorry this was five probably six days ago um princess catherine came in second then delphi and then chirons chirons i already put up part four i want to do part five i just want to make it short i want to talk about location um i want to see what we can do because i believe he's going to be found but um need some help in that to be honest 
So nine days ago, I asked, what do you like to see in terms of the content? Because I'd narrowed down my content, I stopped doing the sign readings. And there was five options. And again, one subscriber that always actually uh, comments when they've done their vote, although I've got two subscribers, I know a subscriber, and I think this is a new subscriber that actually made comments. And so I actually know that you've voted, um, which means that I take those three votes and make sure that your votes are secured when I look at the numbers and just break it down. That's why I say put a comment in. But the most that came through was uh, a mix of readings, predictions, cases and politics. Um, I think there might have been one or two votes on just all popular cases and topics. And the second was um, all crime and missing cases. So 52% was the mix. Um, all crime and missing cases was at 40%. Poli politics always is 0%. Um, and all popular topics and cases is 8%. Um, which doesn't surprise me. And that's what YouTube says to do. Um, and I have had quite a few requests on the J Slater. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a reading on a 32 year old case, cold case. Um, it might not get views, but I just want to see what I get with it, with limited knowledge that I know. Um, I did the Amanda Tony in the members um, and some other readings in the members only. So with this um i've gone for princess catherine i will do the u.s elections i do have delphi delphi is basically looking into the second person and also i want to look into uh the judge and the dynamics behind the energies um i think i've moved from my first reading richard maybe seems in a better place um and i want to look at one aspect which is the s um the maybe potential um, SA that happened because in my last reading I did not get it was the motive but um, I do feel something as an opportunity was there and I also want to explain that if you see I want to explain something else around that I hope I remember with regards to what different psychics might say and why they might say it although they might not know why they're saying it okay um, in terms of Delphi and Chiron, we will do another one. I know no one's really voted there. That might just be two votes. Um, but the boy um, needs to be found. Okay. Um, so we're doing Princess Catherine. Now, when I did this six days ago, the vote, I felt for two days her energy was in void. And... Um, you know, in my readings, it was very hard to really stay uh, grounded and believing in your readings when everyone was more or less taking the opportunity or actually, if they're good psychics, saying she wasn't alive. Uh, that might sound like, well, they're not good psychics. They could have been reading the tarot. So, for example, I think I was maybe the first that would have said, uh, Jace. Jay Slater was on a live, you know, because I think Tarot, the energy um, was showing uh, possibly that he was. And I gave you the date of him being found. So, and then after that, I feel you would have felt, after I did the reading, you might have felt the energy release and you might have tapped into the psychics that you saw. You can go back and check this on my dates. Um, that they started getting, some of them might have started getting the the tarot cards that give the meaning. Um, so with Catherine, I don't think she's not alive. No, she's there, but there's a void there. Now, in previous readings, I've actually mentioned that um, I think if she does come back, when she does come back, she's not going to be like before. Like there's a priority for her family. OK, um, she has a difference in her priorities now. I don't think she's going to be pushed around. But um, I do want to say the, the energy between her and William a bit. I want to discuss it. And I'm going to be doing one for Harry and Meghan. But Harry and Meghan, I've already kind of 
mentioned a lot in terms of, for example, the toxic healing relationship. The last video I did, I did on uh, basically, I can't remember what it was called, but like what Megan will do for all costs of her being in the spotlight. And it was really to highlight stuff that we know, for example, she was pregnant, etc. But really bring to light what you might have seen but not seen. And then I did the extended on the members, which I pulled tarot cards. And in that, it was really interesting. And I might release it after a couple of months. Um, if uh, once I do more exclusives on members. And I really felt like her and Harry were not um really eye to eye on some of the things with Archie I felt it very interesting I felt it like um and I don't want to give too much away but I felt it like they were more open or she was definitely more open to about Lily Beth I don't mean necessarily only about showing on pictures I think that's there but also or filming I think mentioning so for example oh Lily Beth today she fell and stuff but then when it came to Archie it's not that they love one more than the other it just seems like there's a bit more of a cloaking around Archie and I find it very interesting and I just feel um their dynamics of the children I think are not going to be the same because I think one has more of an intention and the other is kind of like no the intention was never this from the beginning so why are we swaying to take advantage of what we actually looked after from the beginning and you'll know what I'm talking about if you saw even the part one for subscribers if you not go back and see it and you can always join members to see the full part now please give me a moment while I just grab my um, water. I'd stopped the recording and started again. Um, and I'd done two sets of cards. Um, but the recording was not recording. So I'm just going to run through it. Did I finish their energy together? Anyway, um, it seemed like the energy where the void was over the last seven, ten days that I was feeling is that Catherine got some news with regards to her health that really shook her up. But it actually took a good turn. Whether this was, for example, she had an overnight drip or something that was, it was like fluid, something fluidy, something liquidy, basically, that actually made her feel a lot better and more grounded and again back in balance right so that I think that one might have been the energy that I was feeling when I put the pole up and the couple of days prior August she felt she needed she felt like it was going to be a rejuvenation month but apparently it's turned out that she's needed to have patience on her journey on everything around her during the month in the cards, what turned up was, again, William and Harry. And it was kind of like she's probably tried to speak to William, seen his pain. And I don't know if this is to do with the funeral or some other stuff that might have come up in August. But she was definitely seeing the pain of these two. And also, the other thing that the main thing was that the royal family are still waiting on her to mention how she wants to return. So this might mean that she comes up and she's, you know, she, I mentioned in my previous readings, and I don't know if I just said it in the first clip, that she will decide how she returns. And at the moment, she's juggling between two decisions on this, which I feel like, the royal family were waiting in August to hear from her on how she wants to go forward or maybe what she's going to like next engage in or when she will announce her main return and the calendar for that year. So if the royal family come up and announce, for example, she won't be back until uh, January 2025 in her full duty, but then she appears, for example, for a Christmas I don't know, dinner and photos or something in October. I feel like there might be something in October. Then she, it's kind of like 
um, it's just trying to give her the time and space, but obviously they need to communicate to the public. Um, what else came up? So that was her energy at the moment. And then August, again, there was a theme about Prince uh, William and Harry and her just seeing the two sort of dynamics. Um, a lot around Harry that was around travel. I got that in his last reading and we know they went to Colombia. Um, she was also waiting for this change or some sort of thing in August that didn't come through, which also has made her think that I'm not ready to make a decision right now on when exactly and give a formal response on when I'll return. But she's juggling those options. She's got like one foot in and one foot out to balance how she wants to return. But that was also what I was getting for um, the, I got, I got memory to what I'd said about Harry. He wants one foot here, one foot out. Now, I don't know how much I've missed, but I also described before I went into her cards that Harry and William have so much love for each other, but it's pain when they come together. And that's the most painful thing. I don't know if you've been in this situation, if you have a sibling or someone you love extremely and they love you, but when you come together, there's just so much pain and it's unfortunate because it's from your parents, it's from the people, it's from... It's like generational, you know, um, and it's so painful because you have to go through it or they have to go through it or the person and you just can't come together. There's pain that when you come together, like William's kind of like he'll want to shut up and just turn away. And Harry's like, no, I want to talk to it. I want to talk about this to you. And I think he's always been that way. I'm not talking about adulthood. So it's kind of like two ends but they're also the only two people they feel that truly understands their positioning and also what they've gone through so that bonds them but it's it's so hard um it's it's difficult um and obviously then we've had the cattiness of like uh megan and catherine and stuff like that that's happened the passive aggressiveness and maybe the meowy sort of stuff um so that's what what i was mentioning in the read i probably mentioned other stuff let's look now on um further into september let me just check this is recording okay told to pick a card from here first okay detox cleanse restore yourself interesting um i think this is what she you know in august i mentioned about her um in the cards basically it was she was really excited about August, then it needed some patience. Then there was something about really the energy of receiving some kind of news. And the turnaround of that was actually getting some fluids um, and medicines or something that made her feel better and took a much better turn for her. Like she felt so much better after it. So I'm not sure what happened there, but she was feeling really... If I want to say deathbed, I don't mean like she was dying, but that's how she was feeling. Really, really bad. And it wasn't like all of August. Do you know when something just comes up and just, it didn't hit her straight away in one day, but she was feeling worse and worse. And then it just got to that point. Um, but she could have either felt like she was to that extent or she got shook up that her um, life um, could be at stake and all it needed was some kind of, it wasn't very serious, just some fluids. It could have been hydration fluids. It could have been to do with the preventative treatment. And it's something that could have been done at the home. 
or it could have been at the hospital, but basically an IV fluid overnight or a couple of days, just a day, not more than two days. And then she was, it took a positive turn. So it's interesting we get this detox, cleanse and restore yourself. Disconnect from social media, disconnect from everything around you. And this is also her energy. Her energy is kind of like, I don't want to be fully involved. Um, and we get this number three. So a lot of it, her, a lot of her focus is around what is around her. But she's also, I think she was trying to pay attention to um, some of like the news or the communication out there in social media or if the royal family, again, I mentioned that, wanted to communicate something. She was really thinking about when should I officially return and stuff like that. And she's not made up her mind. Um, so there's something about don't get hooked up on um, overwatching, overlooking into stuff. Detox yourself from social media, detox yourself from the news and cleanse and restore yourself. And we did see in the cards, I don't know if I mentioned, that she was um, looking after possibly um, she's focusing on what she eats, the way she eats the food she eats and remember before all this I mentioned uh, there's a bit of a concern in terms of her eating um, and I would say in terms of when we see her next with her weight um, she is struggling and that was the fact so it's interesting we get that now let's see if these cards want to come out I'm seeing like the third eye or the throat chakra could be in focus for her. Prayer. Okay, so she's really focused on... Can you remember a while back I said I wouldn't be surprised if we have a hair that she's going to a priest or um, even traveling to one to get a blessing and to get like a cloak of protection around her. And I'm being reminded of that. So it seems like prayer and spending the time in nature detox yourself look at this you know sort of also focusing on what she's taken it's interesting fluids here um, and what she's eating this is the third eye in reverse so exactly what i was saying um her third eye in focus which means why i said it's in focus in reverse means it's kind of blocked so she's wavering in her faith in something now, in the last cards as well, there's a potential that she might have felt betrayed by a flirtation energy or something. But I felt like it was more to do with her health than anything else. So she needs to have faith at the moment in September. That is going to waver. This looks like it came out in reverse. So there's a potential of perceiving things in the wrong manner and this could be because she's not feeling so great okay um although you know from 10 days ago seven days ago to now as i record this i feel she's feeling a lot better than what i was getting last which was the void energy and i think that that was the um ten of swords that i got and the there was a card here and i got the ten of swords the wheel of fortune the queen of cups here, what was this card? Knight of Swords, which was the message she got. So I think that was where I was really feeling her energy void and the Ten of Swords energy. So perception, you know, don't perceive things and think um, and be quick to perceive them because you might be understanding them from a wrong place because of your lack of faith and not able to, um, not grounding yourself to listen to oneself and the signs you're more or less in the 3D sort of yang kind of like um, just taking things um, in a mind sort of way. Okay, they want me to get another one of these cards, but I'll pull one more. Dissipating. So trying to avoid... Um, to trying to avoid look it's interesting the TV again so I do think that in August or sometimes or in September she might be called to the TV and the 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 advice here is don't be get out detox yourself get in that garden look after yourself and she was looking after herself in August at some stage and the food and it looks like she's got to continue but either she started getting hooked on the social media the TV aspect 
her role and stuff and it's kind of like no and also listen to the signs don't be closed off to people um she might feel like she's being a bit closed off to certain people who actually could add um some kind of guidance some faith restoration towards her but she's kind of avoiding it so spirit said to get one more of these let's see So this was kind of all, end of August going into September. Now we're fully in September. Let's see. Getting told this one, but I'll shuffle again just in case. It's interesting because it says as, um, a, social, uh, a solution to every problem. Um, number five, which is sort of the coming into the balance and the change. A solution to every problem. I think it aligns with everything that we're saying. And here is one and nine is 10 is completion. It's the need to feel proud, to feel loved. Don't hold on stuff so tightly. And we do hold on stuff so tightly when we're perceiving things in a wrong way. We have the lack of faith and there's some kind of driving fear factor here. Um, I feel like she's immobilized in terms of her motivation. And when we see this card, it really says you don't really need to hold on that bird so tightly because what's for you is going to be there give it break room to breathe and i uh, it's you know it's kind of like i promise you the bird will still be there know that you're loved okay so that's interesting i think she's going to be seems like her confidence might be questioned it's it's um it's really about the pride she's going to feel from being loved like no matter what she, she needs to understand that's she's cherished and essential and that she's loved right and also loved by the universe i don't just mean like prince william or people around her but you know the universe and we can feel this the universe is just putting us in certain situations and just leaving us like we're forgotten um but the greatest accomplishment here is that the universe expression um is what you're part of and it's telling you to um feel proud the fact and and faith and thankfulness that you are living at this moment in time like you're a living miracle and because i said about the throat chakra this always re represents to me the throat chakra like speak sing your song say what you want to say sing your song so that might be something also for her remember the throat chakra i felt a bit blocked um and here the heart is a little bit which i mean i mean that ties in with feeling loved but also perceiving things in a healthy manner um there's a solution to every problem she might feel tied but there is a solution to every problem and when you feel there isn't a solution this is what happens okay very interesting so let's just pull some tarot for you to see you know what let's see how william feels let's put these back so that we give them all we give william all the cards as well It's someone's birthday in September. As I say, how's William? Um, Spirit is saying someone's birthday in September, and I can't remember. Because William's a Cancer. Catherine's Capricorn. Charles is Scorpio. Camilla's Cancer. I want to actually talk about Charles and Harry. Um, because I think Harry has some justification in some things. Um, you'll have to tell me if you want that. Um... Uh, who else? Megan's a Leo, Harry's a Virgo. I thought he was August. Well, Virgo can go from August into September. I'd say it's probably Harry then. Harry, Harry, I can't remember when his birthday is, but Virgo goes into September. Someone's birthday in September. How is William feeling? It's interesting, my throat, and I've got, I'm getting a headache again. It's like my head and my throat. My, do you know when you feel your tonsils are uh, swelling up? 
maybe from singing happy birthday to Harry and probably a load of swear words. Okay, so he's got dissipating as well, look. So he's got growth. He's going to be pushed. He's currently being pushed. He's going to be pushed into growth. He's going to be feeling like I've outgrown a lot of stuff and I need to be in a certain position. And I wonder if, um, you know, this is to do with some duties that come up or some challenges that make him feel that he's needing. He feels like he's grown, right? But it's kind of like he feels like he's also outgrown some people that can help and mentor him miracle in reverse so a bit of loss of faith here and it looks like he's also not listening to people's you know people that could be he's dissipating so there could be advice around him that looks like oh it's just so and so you know they don't really know much etc but that advice is key that advice is key to make sure he's motivated to make sure he's balanced in terms of his fire energy to achieve any goals he has in September, which is really, really interesting here. Now, miracle reverses, you know, you can probably you can probably understand what that is going to tie into. Um, it's it's really about um, realizing that he can be counted on being the light and lighting the way for others. Um, but at the moment, I'm not sure if he's seeing that in himself, you know, there's also rewards here. Once this is upright, there's rewards for him to, re um, to come through and he needs to be not afraid of working in integrity because I think there's been so many questions about him and obviously his integrity towards his relationship. I feel like he kind of, even though he doesn't show it, I feel like he feels like his credibility's had a big dent. So it's kind of like, William, do you pretend not to see who you are? Uh, can you shut out pain without shutting out the pleasure? Um, and the magic really happens for him by saying I've outgrown something or I don't fit here or these people are not helping me and really then seeing that the magic is when he learns into in, in integrity what's holding him back is avoiding this at this moment in time the dissipating which we've got in Catherine's energy which is interesting the, there's the both have this energy so you know again you know um the need to take action there's a lack of planning, which we know with Catherine, she's in a bit of two worlds and trying to avoid that at the moment. Um, but he is very much feeling, she's feeling around the faith and the story she's telling herself. He's feeling it around this, what stories he's telling himself and imprisoned to. And um, are you doing what you're saying you're doing? There's a lot of procrastination making excuses and going around in circles with this card for both of them. Um, I actually want to pull one of these cards for him. The other one is not telling me to come towards it. So let's pull this one. It's getting a bit messy with all these boxes here. Hang on a sec. Where's this? This is here. This is not recorded or stopped. I probably won't do it today. I have to calm down again. Language of light. So yeah, um, rediscovery, you know, growth, rediscovery, wanderer, communication. Um, it's interesting. I think water, being there, Bay of Water is going to be good for him. Um it might be difficult for him to travel, but I think it'll do him the world of good to take like two days off in a country that has a water bay or, or waves or sea or something or greenery and a lake. But I feel like something water for him to dip himself into. Um, just 
just mindful practice. So with this, what happens is if you see this, geometry is basically um, part of like language and is, is like energy clearing. And that's why I feel like I'm getting for him to take two days off and go to somewhere, um, maybe even put a sacred intention. Now we saw again how I remembered about Princess Catherine and a Pope or some religious thing as that could be again you know how they christen um just kind of like some some kind of prayer and mindful practice is going to be good for him the water element is so good for him this moment in time because you know certain creatures hold light languages and that will go through the waves in the water for him i know this is getting a bit too much into energy healing energy clearing that i do but this is what I'm feeling, but it's going to encourage him to try new things, to break through this, um, but I do think he needs to travel to a foreign land, like just away from the UK for a couple of days, somewhere where there's water, um, and it's going to support this personal and spiritual growth. It's like, you know, when you learn a new language, you need to make sure you don't get lost in the translation. His energy is a bit like that. But, you know, he doesn't really have to speak much here. Um, it's kind of like serenity is going to come to him with peaceful actions for himself, you know. Um, and also he doesn't have to speak for that serenity to come to him which is interesting so i definitely think if he listens to spirit and his higher self he is going to take a couple of days in september we'll have to watch out for that but i think it will be a secret if he does because he's going to be balancing and if it gets out into the open they're going to be like oh yeah he went off on a weekend bender to i don't know where and Catherine's sick you know the drama of it dying um while he's on a weekend bender and then they'll probably bring in rose or something but that's what i get so um overall getting told to go to this deck there's one on the floor i'll pick it up energy is really set you free between them is set yourself free from where you feel really tied told to look at the bottom of the deck heavy burden so it seems like in september or probably in august and just in general it's it's there's still a lot of burdens responsibilities that they both feel this is between them okay um but there's a need to either again this is like going over broad over shores just move to peaceful shores for a moment. Don't get stuck in the past. Um, and, you know, double eight here, very interesting. And you need to make sure that you don't feel that you're more held and hands tied than, than you are. Sometimes we can feel so, so helpless when in fact um, it's not. It's your stories that you're telling yourself. Um, that keep you shackled and it's kind of like move away from that energy and then we've got the eight of cups and we've got the ten of wands as well and there's a very there is a very heavy burden here um, but it's kind of like a feeling of stuck in reality and then there might be some kind of escapism or avoidance and I think it's because they're feeling this heavy energy which is very interesting so September, I think behind the scenes is this kind of energy, but I feel like the solar and lunar eclipse, which is September going into October, may bring a little bit of um, change, but also a um, not heavy, um, not impactful, um, intense energy energy for them in terms of this, but I. I feel like the next cards are going to be positive. More, 
I was only pulled pull three, but I want to pull more. So I would say that they really need to look at Ten of Wands again. They really need to look, and we'll look at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. You can't lie, can you, really? Um, they really need to look at those, the cards that I was pulling in terms of getting those, yeah, the strength is not there. Um, feeling very vulnerable, feeling like you, you can't put up the fight. I think we're looking at a bit of, you know, burnout here as well. Like, so it's going to be interesting. This is going to be positive. Yeah. It's kind of refocusing on what their vows what was, what their long-term plans were, not the fights and the internal conflicts. Okay. Um, not the things that's going on around them that could be impacting them. Split the deck. That could make them feel, you know, grief, heartbreak um, between them. And, uh, you know, there might be something that comes up about third party situation of the past that is regurgitating itself here. Leo, so I'm getting reminded that Leo is Megan as well. So she might come up with something that rocks some of this energy. So I don't know if she's going to come. Remember my reading? Um, is that an indirect threat to the to the royals? So she might come up with something like that in September. We'll have to watch out. Um, but there is definitely a feeling of needing to defend oneself, misunderstood, and um the need to put up boundaries. So it's interesting. So either, you know, this it, this strength card as well could be, like I said, it's it's kind of like maybe it's Megan that comes up with something, but there's fear, there's a bit of blocked, um, the self-doubt. Um, don't be guided by sort of the lizard part of your brain. Um, and don't get into self-destructive impulses. Remember what your vows were. Remember what your long-term plan was when you first got married. Like going back to this kind of age um, is going to put them in a new, in a in a good dynamic. Now, what we can do is a, a check in further in September. This is what the energy is looking. Um, not the best, is it? But it doesn't mean divorce. It doesn't mean anything like that. But there are challenges. And I think a lot of it is about them themselves mentally and vulnerably. Um, and again, it could be things that come up that rock this even more. All right. Um, I'll do the check-in on Charles. And we'll also do, I want to talk about Harry and Meghan's. Um, energy as well and if you want more of those they're educational as well as the energy check-ins um, it's actually helpful for you to see these signs so that if you get involved with someone who's similar you might be able to pick it up and that's why I started this also because I never really watched but I just wanted to see you know people can jump on the bandwagon of not liking people and saying people are whatever manipulators narcissists um and you don't really you don't really know do you but i think from clearly looking at something you can see the dynamics in a very fair way that i present it okay and i'm uh, neutral neutral really um and i think many of my subscribers are these are not paying you rent. These are not your family. These are not adding to you. So, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. This better be recording. <laughs> Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you look out for the predictions. Like, subscribe, do all the nice things that you're able to. And take care of yourselves. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.